Hello, I'm Matt Jablow. Today on the crime scene, he was a standout lacrosse player studying business at the Community College of Baltimore County in Catonsville. A young man with his entire life and a bright future in front of him until one day this summer, there was nothing in front of him at all. Devin Cook was 20 years old, a Mount Washington resident described by teachers and coaches at CCBC Catonsville as a leader on the field and in the classroom. Motivated, reliable, and good-natured. A true role model, it was said, for young student-athletes in Baltimore. His small size earned him the childhood nickname Pocket, but friends and family said he had a huge heart and gave the biggest hugs and the firmest handshakes. In addition to playing lacrosse, he also coached the game he loved at a charter middle school in Baltimore City and was a volunteer coach for special needs students at another Baltimore middle school. This summer, Devin was working in visitor service at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore and playing summer league lacrosse. On the night of Thursday, July 31st, he was giving teammates a ride home after a game. Just before midnight, his car was stopped on Willard Avenue in Park Heights when suddenly a gunman opened fire, killing Devin and injuring one of his passengers. A few days later, about 100 people gathered in Park Heights to remember Devin and to pray that the person responsible for his death is soon caught. So far, unfortunately, their prayers have not been answered. Though a person of interest was reportedly identified at one point by police, Devin's murder has not yet been solved. In fact, detectives now say they have no suspects or motives in the case. With all that in mind, if you have any information that could help detectives solve Devin Cook's murder, you're asked to call Baltimore City Police at 410-396-2100. Or, if you wish to remain anonymous, contact Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7LOCKUP. A $2,000 reward is being offered for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. And even if you don't have any information, you can still move the case forward by sharing the link to this video on social media and helping spread the word. Remember, one tip is often all it takes. That's it for this edition of The Crime Scene. Next week, a case that shook the Homewood campus of Johns Hopkins University. Christopher Elser, a 20-year-old junior at Hopkins, stabbed to death just off campus. Ten years later, his friends and family and the Johns Hopkins community are still desperately hoping for answers and an arrest. That's next week on The Crime Scene. Until then, be sure to follow the very latest crime news on The Sun's Baltimore Crime Beat blog and on Twitter at Baltimore Sun. I'm Matt Jablow. Thanks for watching.